Oh, bad move. Bad move. Oh, man. Now we're locked down. God. Hey guys, what is going on? So today we're trying with the Sheriff Demeter robot. New design for the robot. It has 10% more durability, plus the new legendary pilot here, APPM3TR. Kind of a weird name for the pilot, but we're going to try it out. And we're going to first use the igniter, then the havoc, three times on this new Sheriff Demeter. Additionally... The pilot skill is a bit confusing for the legendary pilot, but it goes... Demeter's ability restores maximum available durability based on the power of the repair. So, take from that what you will. I'm pretty sure it just means that you have a stronger um, ability to repair your own durability and heal, pretty much. But, let's get into it here. So, first we have our igniter in this game. Ooh. Okay, there is a scorpion. Jeez, he wasn't expecting that. We went right behind him and torched him. And I haven't used the Demeter since the update, so hopefully no silent buffs or nerfs. Because I think the Demeter was in a pretty good spot before the update. But we do have 10% more durability. That's pretty significant. I'm glad it's something and it's not just a redesign. Uh oh, he's a scorpion. Boom! That was the same one and he came back. And we got him. Okay, okay. And this build should be good for taking out Shellbots, because, as I've said before, the counter to the Shellbots, the Flamethrowers. Big time. Alright, moving, let's see if we can grab this beacon here. And the thing you have to watch out for when using the Demeter, it's primarily a team support robot, but it does have good firepower, but when you teleport, you can't teleport back. It's not like a phantom or a scorpion where you can teleport and then teleport back. Once you teleport, you're stuck there. So you want to make sure you're making the right decision. Okay, that's a falcon in the middle. Quick five second reload on these igniters. Okay, we're going in. Okay, I guess we're in the enemy spawn or beacon. Uh-oh. And remember, when you transfer, you do heal up your enemies and you put up a shield. Uh-oh. This guy's gonna be shooting me. I'm gonna try to get to cover here. All right, all right, all right. Come on, come on. There we go. We get our ability and let's heal up and our team. Man, we got three, four guys shooting at this one Fenra. Definitely the super durable Fenra. And I think it's fair to say that. Just pure robots, 1v1, no robot can beat the super durable Fenrir in the game right now. Because nothing can do that much damage, other than a Titan. So 1v1s alone, I think the Fenrir is going to win. Unless maybe there's a lot of cover, then you can use your speed, but the Fenrir is just so much durability. Okay, let's see if we can heal up these teammates. There's a Fenrir, he's moving though. Ooh, we're all locked down. Jeez, how did that happen? We're suppressed and all locked down here. Okay, we gotta get out of there. With the Demeter as well, you gotta know when to like help your teammates and then, you know, protect yourself and reload your ability. But we're going back in. Oh my god, the guy just died who we spawned into. That might be the worst thing, is when you spawn, either when you teleport to a teammate and he dies before you get there or when you pick the wrong guy and teleport to him that stuff can be annoying all right all right all right oh man this is gonna die so fast yeah not even worth getting over there okay this arthur though is look he looks like he's taking a lot of fire so let's try to help him out here he's two titans we helped him with the one, but... Oh man, abilities worn off. Okay, let's push from this backside and see if we can sneak into that beacon, maybe. While they're focused on him. 
Oh, they're gonna kill him. No! Okay, no one's doesn't have much health left. Let's see if we can melt him. Melt him! Come on, boom. Boom. Okay, let's see if we can get this beacon. Hopefully we can. Okay, we're moving. Jeez, our team has five beacons right now. Looks like we have this game pretty much under control. And man, I, my last stand didn't even get triggered in this game. I don't know if that's more because of my whole team was just playing very well or the Demeter is just really strong. But I'm getting this sense with the legendary pilot and then the sheriff Demeter. It almost looks like, you know, some kind of futuristic robot theme going on in the game. Because Pixonic does like to have those themes, like they have their their stellar weapons and robots, which is, you know, the community um, created version. And now it looks like maybe this new sheriff. Oh, geez, 4.2 million damage. It's pretty good. This new sheriff theme is the next thing. Okay, guys, so here is another shorter game on Shenzhen. So first, we're going to start with this Lancelot build, and man, this Lancelot build, very sneakily, if that's a word, good. You have your Ember and then your two Igniter, and man, they can deal some serious damage, especially to shell bots. They melt through shields so easily, and shields are so prevalent in the game right now. Okay, let's move to this left side. Uh-oh. Problem is hitting fast robots. Ah, okay, he got the beacon, but I think he's gonna drop in here too, which is not gonna be good for us. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can take him out. We're doing increased damage right now because we hit our healing. Come on. Boom! Okay, he might have not been a traditionalist falcon then. He might have been a normal falcon. Okay, our last thing is triggered. This Aoshun shouldn't really be shooting at us. When an enemy is has their last stand triggered, you want to wait until it's over to shoot or just wasting ammo. But let's move up and try to get almost behind them. Gotta move sideways, this thing's too fat. That's always been kind of a weak point for the Lancelot, is how wide it is from side to side. Because when you're that wide, you take shots more, it's easier to hit, harder to dodge incoming fire. All right, here we go. Torch, torch. Oh, man, I'm low health. Boom, all right, triple kill. Okay, the shell bot's coming. I don't think we have enough health, but let's see if we can kind of show what we could do to a health or a shell bot. See, perfect example. See, he obviously took us out because he was full health, we weren't. But in a, in that couple seconds, the flamethrower weapons can absolutely torch up a shell bot. It ignores all the physical shields. And I wonder if there's going to be an influx of those weapons in the game now. Those flamethrower weapons. Okay, now we have our Demeter. Boom. Havoc weapons. And honestly, it's close to say whether the Havoc are better than the Igniter. I think they ha do have a slight edge just because of the fast reload. And how fast you can also deal damage. But the Igniter are not, you know, any slouch. Alright, let's move in. Okay, that was a pretty easy kill. Okay, let's look for enemies to teleport to. We're well, not enemies, friendlies. Uh oh. I think they just dropped a Titan. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Get out of here! Ooh, this guy's in our home. Come on. Okay. Let's move up this left side. 
that Hawk is going to go for. Oh, bad move. Bad move. Oh, man. Now we're locked down. God. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We teleported into center to help our teammate, but he died so fast that when we got here, he was gonzo. Okay, we do have a friendly Arthur that's helping us out here. Okay, you know what? Now I gotta stay. Can't ditch my teammates. Let's help, with this, help out this Arthur. Jeez, this kid is coming full force. Jeez, our healing couldn't even do anything. The Titan weapons are so powerful that the healing helps a bit, but not enough to save you. Oh, okay, we still got the window. That's going to do it. Nice. I wasn't even looking at the beacon bar because it was so intense in the center. But that is the Sheriff Demeter. 3.2 million damage. Pretty good. First on our team, I think. And that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, peace. And that was the Sheriff Demeter. See you guys next time.